Now, I'm not here trying to brag, but I am kind of the queen of dry skin, and I'm not sure that's something I should be proud of, but boy, I got dry skin pretty much all year round, so I feel like I'm a professional at this topic. So today we are gonna be talking all about dry skin. I'm gonna be giving you guys my tips and tricks to maintaining your skin, as well as some brief product recommendations. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps me out a ton, as well as subscribe when you get the chance and make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload. And if you wouldn't mind while you're at it, giving my Instagram a follow, I would highly appreciate it. Now to preface this video, I do wanna say, and I've said this multiple times in several of my videos, skincare is just like diet. So what works for you might not work for someone else. I'm basing all of this on my own personal dry skin. This video is really to just give you a guide so you can pick and choose pieces that might resonate with you. But I don't want any of you guys to feel like all of this stuff is necessary because we are going to go into it. Oh my God, I just realized. <laughs> I don't have lip product on. Hello. I'm a professional. Now let's go ahead and get into a word from our sponsor who is Belief. Now they are sponsoring this video and I'm so excited to partner with them because as you guys may or may not know, Belief is one of my favorite skincare brands and has really helped my dry skin over the years. Now the product that I'm gonna be talking about specifically is featured in this holiday kit, which of course is perfect timing this time of year. We've got the Let It Glow kit, which is now available at Ulta. This retails for $38 and this is a $56 value. And I always say this when it comes to these holiday kits, but I feel like this is a really great opportunity to try products out at a more affordable price. In this kit is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And this has genuinely been one of the best skincare products for my dry skin. I have gone through several tubs of this. This has been clinically proven to deliver 26 hours of moisturization. It's got comfrey leaf, which also helps provide that extra hydration. And I like this texture because it's like a nice, soft, cushiony texture, which absorbs really nicely into the skin. It doesn't feel heavy, but it does give my skin that like supple, soft type of feel. You've dry skin like me, this is definitely gonna be your cup of tea. This is a full size product and to show you guys what else is in this kit? We've got another one of my favorites. I'm gonna be talking about this later on in the video, which is the Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. We also have the Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner. And then last but not least, you've got a moisturizing eye balm. So now let's go ahead and work systematically through our skincare routine. Now us dry skin people definitely need to make sure that we're cleansing our skin properly but also being gentle. So I'm a big advocate for double cleansing. I think it's great for a lot of different skin types but specifically dry skin because the amount of friction you can decrease in your skincare routine as well as kind of maintaining the integrity of your skin during cleansing is highly important and I feel like double cleansing is very conducive to that. So there's two types of pre-cleansers I guess you could use which comes in the form of a balm or a cleansing oil and to be completely honest this really is up to personal preference which one you prefer. I go back and forth. Whatever you feel like breaks up the makeup grime sunscreen from the day but rinses cleanly off your skin and emulsifies quickly is pretty much good for your skin. Let's go ahead and go into some cleansing balms. Now the first product we have here and the reason that I'm talking about this is because this is one of those OG cleansing balms. I really feel like this was one of the first cleansing balms to hit the market that really made a wave and for good reason. This is from Vanilla Co. and this is the Clean It Zero. Now of course it is that balm to sherbet to oil type of cleansing balm and it does break up the makeup very effectively and I still see a lot of people recommending this and I do like this a lot. Again, I try out a lot of different cleansing balms and the nice thing about this is that there's also a couple different variations available so you can get one that's for nourishing the skin, you can get one for sensitive skin, you can also get one for combination skin as well as this guy which is the original. Another one of my favorites is from E Nature. This is the Moringa Cleansing Balm and the Moringa in this is supposed to be very soothing for the skin as well as clarifying. Again, very quick to to remove the makeup as well as rinse cleanly. And the last recommendation I have here is from Aromatica. This is the Orange Cleansing Sherbet. And the reason that I like this is not only because it's effective, but I like that this is really a bang for your buck type of ingredient. As you can see, it's a significant size here. And I love Aromatica skincare products in general. And this one specifically does have some brightening aspects to it. So another really good option in case you're looking. Now, cleansing oils are more your fancy. I've got a couple here that are some good options. 
First, we have like the OG recommendation, which is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is an olive oil based cleansing oil. So for those of us who have dry skin, it's gonna be very nourishing. Another option we have here, I've almost used this up. This is from Softimo. This is the Speedy Cleansing Oil. And this is the affordable option here. This is again, very effective, very clean rinsing. It doesn't leave your skin with residue on it. And this is very popular among Japanese skincare fans. So I can definitely see why among Japanese cleansing oils, this is one of my favorites. And last but not least, we have a brand that I always struggle <laughs> saying the name, Ainke. What? I know I'm butchering that, but it's the Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. This is 94% pure plant oil, and this is something that has a bunch of different nuts and flowers oils in this. And Calendula is supposed to be good for like healing the skin as well as like being antibacterial and antifungal and all that kind of stuff. So Calendula is something you'll see sprinkled in a lot of different skincare products and for good reason because it's good for inflammation and a lot of different skin concerns. Now typically how I use my cleansing oils or cleansing balm is I put it onto my dry skin before I hop in the shower, kind of rub it and work it into the makeup, then I hop in and rinse it off and that's where I progress into my cleansing step. Now that's the second part of the double cleanse and essentially you do the first part to break up the bulk of the makeup and then the second part with the cleanser is where it actually cleanses the skin. Now again, with dry skin, you wanna opt for something that is more gentle. This is where I might differ from the typical crowd. I do like a little lather with my cleansers because I wear more makeup than most people, so I just find it works better on my skin to have a slight lather, but I also like to have something that's going to be gentle and non-stripping on the skin. And in my opinion, there are a lot of really great soft cleansing foams out there. And I know this is where a lot of people for dry skin would recommend like Cetaphil or CeraVe, which are good options. But again, I wear a lot of makeup and I found that those for me weren't effective at actually cleansing my skin. But I definitely wanted to put this in the video because I know that those are popular options for dry skin types. Now I mentioned this very briefly in the beginning of this video, but another genuine favorite of mine is the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. Now I love this because it starts off as like a jelly cleanser, as the name implies, or jelly texture, and then it works into like a very soft foam. Now this does have their Napier's formula, which is supposed to be more moisturizing and hydrating on the skin, so you don't feel like this is stripping the skin. Instead, I find this is very gentle and leaves my skin feeling a bit hydrated after the fact. This is another really good option. I have gone through, literally this one's empty, tubes of this because I go back to this one religiously. Now I've got also some affordable options for those of you guys as well who are looking for that. Now this is another long-term favorite of mine. These are the Hadalabo Goku Gen Hyaluronic Acid Foam Cleansers. I've got two different variations here and this one is like the foaming one. And this is also a foaming one, but it comes out in a foam, if that makes sense. Now, both of these are very affordable, very popular among Japanese skincare. And I personally do like the one that comes out foaming because I find that this is like a softer bubble. And I find because I don't have to create the bubbles myself, it has less friction on the skin. Now, of course, because these are hyaluronic acid based, these are excellent for dry skin types and very gentle as well. Now the last option I have here, I'm also a fan of this line in general. This is from Etude House, this is the Soonjung line which is formulated for sensitive and dry skin types, so again, very gentle. This is the 5.5 foam cleanser, so you're getting a balanced pH within this, it's very mild, and on top of that, this is one of those that's, you know, fragrance free, color and free, all that kind of stuff if you have sensitive skin. All these options are very great for dry skin types. If you're like me, you've got that personal preference where you need a little something something to remove any residual residue on your skin. These are great, all of them are pretty affordable and I have been using all of these for years and have loved them. Now moving into the next step of my skincare routine, which would technically be like the point makeup removing step. Again, I wear a lot of makeup, so I have to use a point makeup remover to remove any mascara, anything left over in between my lashes, as well as follow up with OcuSoft, which again, it's because I have sensitive eyes and it's just like a very gentle lash and eye cleanser I use, and then I rinse that off. Now during this whole time, after I've hopped out of the shower and cleansed my skin, 
I maintain my skin in a damp state. So I don't completely dry all the water off my skin. Actually applying your skincare products onto damp skin is highly important when it comes to having dry skin. Now that's because when your skin is more damp, your skin's more permeable, meaning it absorbs your products and ingredients more easily, so those are more readily available. Especially if you're using products that are humectants, having that extra moisture or water or dampness on the skin is going to allow the humectants to work on their more optimal level. So a lot of the products that I'm gonna be talking about do contain humectants like hyaluronic acid and glycerin. Those types of things work really well with some dampness left on the skin. Now while our skin's damp, we're gonna go ahead and move into hydrating toners. Now hydrating toners are excellent for not only balancing the skin post cleansing if you need it, but also adding more moisture into the skin. And this is where you could do what is called the seven skin method. So this is a layerable step. Naturally, I don't like layer on seven layers of toner every routine, but if I feel like I need a little extra hydration or moisture, this is where you can definitely do that. The seven skin method I have seen has really changed a lot of people's dry skin. So if you haven't tried that before, definitely give it a go, it's worth a shot. And like I said, definitely customizable. Don't feel like you have to do the full seven steps. Sometimes I'll just do like two or three or one. I get crazy. One of my favorite hydrating toners is from Belief. This is the Aquabomb Hydrating Toner. I like this because this is one of the more lightweight hydrating toners. So if you're new to the whole concept of hydrating toners, this is a good option for beginners. This has honeysuckle baobab and sodium hyaluronate, which all of those work together to moisturize the skin as well as lock it in. So it's really important to also lock in that moisture. The one that I'm currently working on is from Bonajour. This is the green tea water bomb toner. This has hyaluronic acid in it, as well as what I really like, the green tea extract. So green tea is rich in antioxidants, as well as helping to soothe and calm the skin and also brightens the skin. There is a whole list of benefits of green tea when it comes to skincare and I really like how this absorbs into my skin. It's non-sticky and I've, I've really been enjoying this. Now these are very popular when it comes to the hydrating toning world. They're from Isentree and this is the original hyaluronic acid toner which has three types of hyaluronic acid. As you can see I finished that guy up and then there's this guy which is like a level up. This is the hyaluronic acid toner. Plus, so this one contains three forms of hyaluronic acid, this one contains five, and those different hyaluronic acids are essentially different molecular weights, so they're able to penetrate the skin at different levels, and your skin has multiple levels, so being able to hydrate and moisture from deeper levels, obviously very beneficial to those of us with dry, sensitive skin types. After using a hydrating toner, my skin loves a bit of essence. Now, I'm a big essence fan, Again, kind of for the same reason that I love hydrating toners is because they're customizable, layerable, lightweight, and vastly absorbed into the skin. In a lot of essences, you'll see them feature fermented ingredients. Fermented ingredients are broken down into a more smaller structure, so they're more readily available to be absorbed by the skin. So this is a great time to get those ingredients in. And I have in the past definitely layered these as well. There's also another method of delivery you could use if you want to put these into a misting bottle and just spritz them on your skin to save them from absorbing into the palms of your hands. Another really great option. So let's go into some of my favorites. I would be remiss to not mention these guys if I'm talking about treatment essences. And these are from Misha. Now Misha has a lot of different versions of their first treatment essence. This Artemisia one is great for calming the skin and also maybe if you have acne related skin issues or if you're looking for that soothing component in your skincare routine, this is gonna provide that with that Artemisia. And then we have this guy here, which is the red algae. Red algae is great for being antioxidant rich. And this is kind of like my anti-aging essence. So these are both affordable options when it comes to essences that I'd recommend. I'd really recommend any type of first treatment essence from Misha. This is the one I'm currently using. It's from A True. It's the Real Black Tea True Active Essence. I like this because again, you've got that black tea component in it, antioxidant rich, and this guy specifically is double fermented. So double ready for my skin to absorb. And I've really been enjoying this. This has a slightly thicker texture, so during the winter months, my dry skin is like 
Yes, please. And as a more investment type of essence, I mean, essences can definitely get up there in price range. This is one of my favorite, favorite essences, and it's from Amore Pacific. This is the Vintage Single Extract Essence. This features fermented green tea, and this, <laughs> Their green tea is kind of reminds me of like the Epic of Gilgamesh where it's like the green tea is grown in the mineral rich soil of Jeju Island at the base of Hala Mountain and it's hand picked with left hand so you know the dominant hand doesn't mess up with the delicate green tea leaves. Now I know it sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo but that basically means each one of these bottles is really a piece of art and boy does it show on your skin. It's actually really interesting to read the history and I've gone into it so I won't get too crazy but this is definitely worth the investment if you have the spare change but there are a lot of really great options. I just wanted to make sure I'm covering a lot of different price ranges. And this is also one of my favorites, so I had to throw it in there. Serums and ampules would be the next step I'd move into. Now this is the part of your skincare routine where you can get really customized and personal. Now, again, if you're trying to recover your skin barrier or you've got dry skin or you're trying to help with like flakiness, this is another opportunity for you to drill in that moisture. But again, this is where you kind of have the freedom to choose the types of products that you want. Now, since we're talking about dry skin, I'm gonna give you some of my dry skin recommendations. So one of the first ones is this guy from Skin1004. This is the Madagascar Centella Asiatica 100. Now, this is like a very nice size bottle. So this is definitely a good option if you're more on the budget side of things. Uh, this is also, despite being more affordable, is a really, really great option for those of you guys who have sensitive dry skin because Centella Asiatica is one of those superhero ingredients that's going to really calm and soothe irritation, helps with redness. I have used the whole bottle of this and really enjoyed it and this was very fast absorbing into the skin. So even though we have dry skin, we still want to pick products that aren't going to feel heavy or tacky on the skin this is one of those products that I would definitely recommend. Now, if you have dry skin, one of the ingredients to definitely look out for that I love is snail. Snail is a really great option for helping with inflammation, helping recover the skin, and it's really great with encouraging healing of the skin. So again, if you've got those barrier issues and you're trying to recover your skin, something like this would be really great. Now, this is one of my OG favorite snail products. This is from Benton, the Snail Bee High Content Essence. Now, just despite it being called an essence, this goes in my serum category. It's kind of a common theme when it comes to international skincare. What's one thing might be considered another thing in a different country. I'd say this is a serum or ampule and that's what I'm sticking to. Now I gave you that spiel because I knew I was going to talk about this guy really quickly. This is very popular with the dry skin community and this is also from Hadalabu, the Goku Jump Premium hyaluronic acid lotion. Now lotion with Japanese skincare most of the time is referring to toner. And I realize I'm also throwing this in my serum step, so I hope I'm not confusing you guys too much. Which this can definitely be used as a toner. It can definitely be used after cleansing. However, I use this as like an additional moisturizing product, so I'll use this after. It's definitely one of those products you can incorporate and it has a lot of flexibility in a skincare routine. I've even seen people use this on their scalp, so definitely a good potential to be like a multitasking product. But the reason that I mention this is because the Hadalabu Gokujan line in general is very popular, like I said, with dry skin. This is a premium version which has five forms of hyaluronic acid. The non-premium form has three, I believe. But like I said earlier, I'm an overachiever, so I opt for the premium one. Now after our serums and ampules is where I personally go in and apply an eye cream. I realize eye creams are one of those polarizing topics. Some people are huge advocates for them. Some people feel like you don't need them at all and they're an unnecessary step. Listen, I like my eye creams. I like my targeted treatments, so I use an eye cream. And again, this is where you can pick something to your personal preference. So. I'm just throwing this bit in there to say I didn't forget eye cream, but I also realized not everyone uses an eye cream and I don't want anyone to feel pressured, but I do. Yeah. Last but not least, when it comes to our skincare routine, another very important step is our moisturizer. Now this is where, when it comes to the dry skin world, you'll hear the terms like fatty what? <laughs> thrown around or occlusive thrown around. And that's because really your moisturizer at the end of your routine acts as a seal or a barrier for your skin. Your skin is a lot of recovering overnight, so you wanna encourage that as well as lock in all that goodness and moisture at the end of your routine. 
Now, as we sleep or just day to day, your skin does or can have the potential to lose moisture, which is referred to as transepidermal water loss. So that's why you want to seal everything in. As a side note, I'm also a big advocate for using a humidifier when you sleep or just in your house in general. I live in a very dry climate, so I use a humidifier all year round, but having moisture up in the air is also very important during the dry winter months or if you have dry skin, especially in winter where we tend to run our heater, which dries out the air. So if you're just sleeping in like dry air, you can imagine what that would do to your skin as well as just like your throat and your nose. I just feel better when I sleep with a humidifier, so it's something I definitely encourage. Good for your skin, good for the health. <laughs> Now, speaking on occlusives and dry skin, some very popular options out there do include products like Cetaphil, Aquaphor, Vaseline. Now, I've definitely used those types of occlusives or moisturizers in the past, specifically Vaseline I used to be a big, big fan of. You can do it, which is why I'm saying you could use a product like Vaseline or Aquaphor or Cetaphil, which might feel a little bit thicker on the skin, but I like to use like a moisturizer, personal preference again, and I'm not knocking that. I'm definitely saying I've used them in the past and I've enjoyed them, but I'm gonna recommend some moisturizers that are more like, they feel nicer on the skin. Now I already went into at the beginning of the video, one of these superhero products for my dry skin, which again is that Belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is fantastic, not only dry skin, but a lot of different skin types. Belief is just one of those brands I constantly recommend and I'm always excited to work with because I am just a big fan of theirs and I feel like they have a lot of products that are great for a lot of different skin types. Moving into some other options, one of the ones I've enjoyed in the past is from Cosorex. This is the Balenciam Comfort Ceramide Cream. Ceramides are another really great ingredient for dry skin and helping with barrier repair. This was one of those products I keep on hand for whenever I have any irritation. And another option that I really like, which this is on the more affordable side from iUnique, this is the Beta Glucan Daily Moisturizing Cream. Beta Glucan is actually a polysaccharide, which helps with calming the skin as well as doling down redness and irritation. And on top of that, I just really like the texture of this. It's just kind of like a more buttery, thicker type of cream my dry skin really enjoys it. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make a concise guide talking about dry skin, whether you have it year round or you just experience it during the winter time. I feel like a lot of the things that I do in my skincare routine, I wanted to relate to you guys because I know it makes a big difference with not only the products you're using, but how you're using them, when you're using them, et cetera, et cetera. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you guys wanna check out this kit from Belief or pick it up for yourself or for a friend or family, the Let It Glow kit is now available at Ulta and Ulta.com. And I will leave a link down in the description box below for that, as well as all the other products that I talked about in this video. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.